This is uh, question 12 from the May June 2013 IGCSE at Men's paper, code 0606 slash 21. The question, the function fx equals x cubed plus x squared plus ax plus b uh, is divisible by x minus 3. I've written the information here so that we can quickly follow is divisible by x minus 3 and leaves a remainder of 20 a remainder of 20 when divided by x plus 1 okay we asked to show that b equals to 6 and you asked to find the value of a in the first part and then we asked to find the non-integer roots of the equation fx equals to 0 in the second part and we'll come to that in a bit so now first off let's go ahead and find the values of a and b so using the information given, um, it is divisible by x minus 3. What this means is it is exactly divisible by x minus 3. That would have been a better question. So which means we can use our factor theorem and our remainder theorem to settle the first part of the problem. So let's write, we are given that f of 3 equals 0. That's what it means by exactly divisible by x minus 3. So f of 3 equals to 0 and we are also given a remainder of 20 so when it's divided by x plus 1. What does that mean? f of minus 1 equals to 20. So read the question and then we summarize the information in this form. So now we can go ahead and set up some equations. Yeah? f of 3 equals to 0 so let's write uh, 3 cubed will be 27, 3 squared will be 9 plus 3a plus b equals to 0. Okay, all I'm doing is plugging in the value of 3 inside here, 27 plus 9 plus 3a plus b, and the remainder is 0 because it is exactly divisible by x minus 3. Good, so now we can write 3a plus b equals to minus 36 equation number one. Let's use the second bit of information to get equation number two. f of negative one equals 20. So let's write uh, negative one cube will be negative one, negative one squared plus one, uh, minus a plus b will be equals to 20. Okay, plug in negative one here. So I have negative one, negative one squared is one, I have here and I have negative a plus b equals 20. So I can write minus a plus b equals to 20, equation number 2. So let's go ahead and uh, solve these equations simultaneously. Um, let's go ahead and take equation 2, multiply it by 3, you will get minus 3a plus 3b equals to 60. Okay, let's call this equation 3. Take equation 2, multiply this by 3, you'll get minus 3a plus 3b equals to 60. Now take equation 1 and you add it to equation 3. Okay, take equation 1 and add it to equation 3. So b plus 3b will be 4b. Minus 36 plus 60 will be 24 and therefore b equals to 6 as they want you to show it. Once you get this, we are done. We can easily find the value of a. So let's plug into equation 2, okay, minus a, okay, plus 6 equals to 20. Therefore, we can write minus a equals to 14. Therefore, a equals to minus 14. And we are done.